this is the video for how to burn the ISO. So, you need, um, here's my device manager. These are all the burners I have. I burn all discs with all these. Um, this is the one that came with my Alienware and it it's pretty good. This is my IHAS burner. I burn this for XDG3 games, which are newer games that come out for the Xbox. And this is my external USB burner that I've burned a bunch of ISOs with. Um, but all these work for burning XDG2 games, which is like older games like 2009, 2010, games like that. Um, but yeah, if you're getting IO air, it's probably because your burner blows or you have a crappy computer. Either one. So, um, so try using a friend's computer maybe. Uh, use a different burner. Get a USB burner. USB external burner is what I did. So, let's get started. Open image burn. Let me put, you need um, Verbatim DVD plus R dual layer 8.5 gigabyte discs. I will put the discs I get in the description. So that'd be easier for you. Um, okay, now it's ready up. Okay, now it's ready. I'm going to. I don't know if it chooses up. Um, open the disk image file, the one kilobyte file. Not the ISO file, the disk image file. I honestly don't know why, but just do it. So, 2.4x. I don't verify, I don't test. Um, file, or no, tools, settings. Go to right, I think. Yeah. Um, copy my settings. Um, I think these settings are. I'm not sure if your setting. Just copy my settings again, I guess. I'm not sure if this will be different for you. Um, I don't think any of. The, I don't think I messed with any of the other stuff. And so yeah, um, click burn. I eject my tray whenever I'm done, and that is about it. Um, I have a flashed Xbox, so I won't have to hot swap or anything. But you'll probably have to hot swap if you don't have a flashed Xbox. So. Yeah, if this helped you at all, um, leave a like and subscribe, it really helped me out, so, see you guys later.